And I'm going to talk to you about how Bitcoin and the electricity use is actually not so much a big deal and where it actually comes from. So an interview without asking about crypto, but in particular, Russia just said that they would accept Bitcoin as a payment uh, for their energy uh, resources. What does that say to you about where we are in the crypto conversation? Well, crypto is obviously grown by leaps and bounds, and um, it's now playing a significant role not really so much in transactions, right. but in investment decisions of lots of Americans. And um, the president just issued a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. an executive order tasking us and other agencies with thinking about the regulation of crypto. I mean, you're less skeptical about it than in previous. I mean, we've been talking about it together for a long time now, and I think you've had a, a skepticism yeah. about crypto, crypto technology. I have a little bit of skepticism because I'm um, there are, cons I think, valid concerns around it. Some have to do with financial stability, right. consumer investor protection, um, use for illicit transactions and other things. Right. On the other hand, there are be benefits from crypto. And we recognize that innovation in the payment system can be a healthy thing. We would like to. Um, come out eventually with recommendations that um, will create a regulatory environment in which healthy innovation. And we're about to So right there. Uh, that's good, right? She warms up to it. She says, hey, there are some, there are some great parts as far as like cross-border payments, remittances. I will let you sound off in the comment section what you believe uh, that to be or what crypto it could potentially be. Uh, I have my own thoughts on that, but I'll let you decipher it. So it's good. It's almost like a little bit of a, of a step in the right direction for what she's talking about. She goes on to talk about uh, the ESG movement, uh, you know, as far as uh, uh, environmental, social, and governance. Mostly, it kind of goes in, in line with what this administration is trying to do as far as uh, green energy and things like that. There's two things to this. First of all, this was a great piece. Uh, the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index. And what they took a look at is just the energy consumption for different industries. There was the, the one thing I really want to make, make sure everybody knows is that it talks about limited data availability. And it states it's surprisingly, hold on, let me, let me blow this up so you can see it a little bit better. Hey, hey there we go. They say it's, it's surprisingly challenged to find reliable electricity figures about the energy footprint of many industrial and residential activities. Data sets are often non-standardized, produced or maintained by various stakeholders who pursue different interests based on distinctive theoretical models that use widely differing, dif differing methodologies and assumptions and are limited to a specific geographic area. This leads to conflicting estimates about the same activity that can come in stark contrast to each other. So basically they do the best they can. Here's the thing. If you take a look at electricity use and energy use, so energy use, the production is 167 terawatt hours. Production, or excuse me, electricity is 26,000. What's the difference? Well, energy is what we produce, geothermal, uh, hydro-based, wind. It's what you use to actually create electrical power. Electricity is generated by transforming primary energy sources, wind, nuclear, solar, into electrical power. So just so you know, the total usage Bitcoin has 0.61%. Not a big deal. So, but if you take a look here, just so you know, Bitcoin takes 136 terawatt hours per year, per the entire year, the entire year. And gold mining is 131 terawatts per year. Pretty close, actually. And if we take a look at this, uh, <laughs> yikes. AC is 2199. Data centers just around the world, 200. Cement. Just to submit, 384, paper and pulp. TVs in the U.S. are 60. Lighting in the U.S., 60. Well, I like light. Uh, so fridges, 104. Iron and steel production, chemicals, copper. And Bitcoin's at 137. So if we take a look at that, we're like, well, that's not so bad. But then the big question becomes, but it's still using electricity, Rob. And that's not great. Well, that's true. However, before we get into that, I want to just make mention of this. What the heck are we using gold for, in all honesty? Because to me, 
I know gold is great and it's a great store of value and da da da. But did you know? This is from gold miners. Uh, up to 80% of the gold that is newly mined or recycled is used in jewelry manufacturing. So you're telling me that 131 terawatts per hour is on jewelry. And I'm not saying you can't do that. It's a free market. I don't care what you buy. I just, I've never, I don't think I've ever had anything gold, honestly. However, the electronic age, arguably the most important industrial use of gold is the manufacture of electronics. So if, if it's 80%, 80% of the of gold that is newly mined or recycled is used in jewelry manufacture, jewelry manufacture. And then, of course, you have gold bars, and they store that for as a store of value. And then, of course, they also use that uh, gold in dentistry, which I don't know who is using gold teeth, except little Wayne. Uh, how much are we really using for these electronics? Because that, I think, is the big thing, especially the gold bugs will say. But, you know, there's an intrinsic value because of this watch because of this gold in my teeth. Again, I don't see why you're doing that. Or it's because of in this phone. So even in phones and things like that, can we use a better way? And then also, like how much really is it? If it's 80% and then maybe 5% here and so on and so forth. And then I will just say the bigger issue though is not just about the electricity, but it is where are we getting the electricity? Is it all coal that we're getting to actually mine Bitcoin? Are we using like, like the dirtiest types of... Uh, of standards because someone had a good point. They go, Rob, they go, even if you're talking about how it's not important of how other industries use electricity, the bigger issue we probably should focus on is where are you getting that electricity from? So look, I don't know where everything else is coming from as far in like Kazakhstan. I assume it's hydroelectric, maybe like in China. I have no idea actually, but I know that there is a, a huge amount of Bitcoin mining going in my great state of Texas. And there was this video which was actually a while ago. And I had uh, I had Winstone or Winstone CEO Chad Everett on. And when we were talking about it, he said, and this was after the, the whole video was over. I made mention of this, of this uh, spreadsheet. I asked him, I go, hey, man, how much of this is, is uh, uh, renewables? And he said, oh, he goes, we didn't touch on that. But here's a data sheet of what we use. And of course, in Texas, we have ERCOT which is the Elect Electric Reliability Council of Texas, which manages the flow of electricity power to 26 million Texas customers, which is, I believe, the lion's share. Uh, represents about 90% uh, of the state's electric load. Why am I telling you this? It's because of this profile right here. Here's the annual energy fuel mix of what we are using in Texas. And this is why I think that miners should just come to Texas and get the hell out of the other countries that are gonna boot you out anyhow and just do the right thing. Just come to America. Sorry, I'm a homer, that is what it is. I'm super biased also. So the 2020 annual energy fuel mix is this. And this is all Texas residents, 90%, eight to 10%, I couldn't find the data, but uh, 20, 90%, 45% is natural gas. Okay, natural gas, not too dirty. 22% is wind. 18% is coal. Okay, you got me on that one, but We've got 11% nuclear and 2.9% other, which does include uh, solar and things like that. And then Jen, and you can take a look here. So I link this in the description below. So when people are talking about, I know it's a long description, but when people are talking about the electronic use or the power usage, the power watch being used for, for crypto and Bitcoin mining, just point them to this video and go, look, it's not the most worst, the, the, the most awful thing of all time. We actually do use renewable energy. So that ESG issue that all these corporations are rising hell about should not be that big of a thing. Just my humble opinion. Let me know what you think about that in the comments section.